50 shades darker. Now, why do I have my shirt off? Well, I need some shameless self-promotion and what better reason to do it than for a shameless film like this. This cash-in to 50 Shades of Grey, the franchise, a sequel to a movie that made half a billion dollars. Everyone wants to know, is it any good? No, it's not any good. Of course it's not any good. But does it have a lot of sex? Yes. And so that's going to keep you entertained for this movie's two-hour runtime. Now, this is the first half of two sequels to this movie that we're getting, but it is mercifully, uh, it, it's entertaining. You know, Dakota Johnson is still a non-event as Anastasia Steele, so I wouldn't be going looking for a strong female protagonist in this movie. Is Jamie Dornan any good? Yeah, he's okay. Now, if you'd like some Dornan, go and check out a TV series called The Fall. He's infinitely better in that series than he here, is here in this movie. The plot of this movie is ridiculous. The acting in this movie is ridiculous. The dialogue of this movie is ridiculous. But you probably already bought a ticket because you are either a girl uh, or you own a trench coat. So go and check it out. Have at least half a dozen wines before you do. I would give this a merciful two stars out of five. But it's not as boring as its bland predecessor. Now, Fifty Shades of Grey, that first movie, took itself way too seriously and kind of in some way thought that it was doing some kind of feminist text. Now, this movie at least knows that it's sending feminism back a couple of thousand years and runs with it, you know. So any movie where a billionaire buys a girl an iPhone and a matching iMac and the audience gushes kind of makes me a little bit worried about where we're going as a species. But hey, it makes for kind of so bad, you know, gag reflex cinema. Go and check it out.